I would like to talk about cord issues in birth. I have a friend of mine that, that just had minor issues uh, with the cord, but I'm already noticing uh, changes in the neck movements and what I call absolute horizon. Now, the absolute horizon is how your baby first starts setting up. So we look at the spine as a system, we look at the neck as even a separate system when it's one thing. But every vertebrae, every bone in the body is meant to have individual articulation prior to it working as a whole. So I'm, I'm here and just working and I need to, to work on the spine. Now the tendency with, with anything we do in life, we think of the up. Well, with the baby, it's a bit more about the down. So here, if the spine is here, my, my touch going down is just significant, if not more so than my touch going up. See, when I go up, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna affect the system this way. What I'm looking for, and again, this is where you get into that water bowl technique, and you can look forward to it more when, like I said, in the tummy time um, uh, course that'll be coming out and, and how to really work that with the baby. But when there's a cord wrapped around the neck, um, even just minor, uh, I'm not looking for oxygen deprivation, I'm just looking for articulation issues. So the cord will come around here, and so what's meant to happen is, is, that, is the baby comes out and rotates out, right? But that rotation hits that whole neck. So when there's a cord or a stuck shoulder, let's say, any of those kind of things, you'll get a rebound and a short rebound, right? And, and, and uh, I get it, like I have a little munchkin that's flying in from New Jersey that, that got stuck so much that they, they, they had to crack the collarbone to get the baby out, you know, or the, the collarbone got cracked in the process. But either way, it's a, it's a broken bone. And now, again, that skeletal articulation is going to deviate. And, and so, so any of that, so you, do, you don't want that, that. That's why contractions are so important. And the way the baby comes out, the parietal bones are meant to be, uh, which are your cranial bones, are meant to be the first milestone. And so when the cord is there, you get, you get that little bit of a rebound, and the child doesn't get what you might refer to as that full extension. And um, so I hope this helps my friend, um, and I hope this helps all of you start to learn more about developmental movement patterns in babies. But Again, when certain things don't set up, the child will deviate. It's not to say that the child will automatically be special needs or, again, that we're not talking about brain trauma. We're just talking about movements that didn't get to happen in the system. I hope you had a great Halloween and you stayed safe and, and uh, dressed up at home and, and those kind of things. And I will see you later this week. Thanks. Bye.